Greetings cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rent Dog coming at you from the water well of Rentown in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode we were working on magmatic engines to try and find a more sustainable source of energy for our magma crucibles and in this episode guys we are going to be working on an item that has the kid inside me going absolutely freaking cray cray man we are going to be making a jetpack and a jetpack oh my goodness guys i don't know how many of you have ever wanted to have a jetpack but a jetpack is a childhood dream of mine that i will always freaking have until i have one strapped to my freaking body and uh, that unfortunately probably won't happen in real life but at least we can make that happen and feed the beast we're going to be able to make a jetpack that is going to allow us to fly that is right people but uh, before we get to the construction of that awesome ass jazz let's quickly head down into the cyber labs maintenance level and I want to show you guys what I have done with our magmatic engines that we did in the, the last episode and our magma crucibles so what I've done is I've made a second array worth of magmatic engines and magma crucibles so that we could I mean basically what was happening is just five magma uh, magma crucibles were just not doing the business so I constructed another five we now have ten running at full pace and uh, what I'm most excited about is if we actually look at these magmatic engines what you guys will see is that they are completely full of lava that is right guys this is now a fully self-sustained energy uh, well lava producing system and uh, we don't have to worry about it at all all we have to ensure is that our magma crucibles always have netherrack in them or um, these these magmatic engines are going to explode the magmatic engines need to be doing something they need to be sending their energy somewhere or they will explode so as long as the magma crucible is working it is consuming energy and that means that we are safe and all we have to, to do to ensure that this system is self-sustaining is keep our magma crucibles full of netherrack but as you can see the magmatic engines are completely full so when this um, magma crucible produces lava a small part of it as you can see it's actually happening right now goes into the magmatic engine and because the magmatic engine is full it then, it then bounces the the excess lava back into the piping system which thus goes into our tanks now as you can see our tanks are filling pretty slowly this has been filling now for I would say about 40 minutes between 30 and 40 minutes um, worth of filling and as you can see we're sort of halfway through the first two tanks and then a third way through the second few tanks and uh, not very far on the last few tanks so while they are 10 magma crucibles working at full pace 24 hours a day they do not actually produce that much lava and that is why we need to find a more sustainable source of lava um, in the near future aka um, the nether <laughs> so um, our next major project guys is to figure out a way to get lava from the nether into these tanks and thus into the buttholes of our squidwits but I tried an experiment at the end of the last video guys and what I did was I actually drained um, the our MFEs completely down to zero um, and I did that by just turning on the quarry and leaving it for about 30 minutes and what I've actually done guys is I've rewired the MFEs here so what you can see is that um, the the Squidwards are, are all connected up so let's start actually let's start from the Squidward room I want to show you guys the rewiring that I've done of the cyber labs so all of the Squidwards are now connecting and all going down one glass fiber cable so all of the power that they're producing is going down this glass fiber cable and this glass fiber cable is coming up um, over here underneath this MFE and then branching to all six MFEs so the 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 energy cables so the energies that are, are bringing power to our MFE battery room are blue so you can see I've painted them blue and then what I've done is I've connected all of our MFEs with green cable and this cable goes down into the cyber labs maintenance level and then all of our machines are connecting to this main wire which of course is sucking energy from all of the MFEs in this battery room now what I did was I drained the MFEs completely down to zero by running the quarry and at the same time I let our 10 um, magma crucibles run com uh, com uh, always uh, continuously filling up the tanks again so basically what I was trying to see was how much energy can we produce from our squidwards from um, the, the, the moment that our MFEs are completely drained um, how much energy can we actually pump into those MFEs 
and um, basically the tanks were about as full as they are now and I turned on all of the Squidwards which drained all of the tanks and I turned off all of the magma crucibles so we got to see exactly how much energy we can generate between um, our, our MFEs being completely drained by the quarry. Now if we look into the MFEs you can see that all of them, this one is completely full, this is 500,000, this is 500,000 and then the back MFEs are slightly less, 300,000, 200,000, 450,000 but there is around about what almost 30 million units of electricity uh, or 3 million units of electricity available to us um, from sort of one cycle of our cyber labs plant now what does the cycle mean well the cycle means um, turning on the squidwards draining the tanks and recharging the mfes then in the time that it takes the quarry to suck the mfes dry the magma crucibles will produce enough lava into the tanks for us to redo the cycle once again so every now and then we have to pause for about 10 to 15 minutes to recharge our mfes with the newly acquired lava but essentially what this means is that our quarry can now run um, 24 hours a day or for as long as we are logged in to uh, Minecraft Feed the Beast because we are able to ensure that, that our MFEs are, will always have enough power to run continuously. So I'm going to get the quarry going right now and uh, what we're probably going to see at the end of this episode is the need to turn on all of the Squidwards as, as the MFEs get drained. But our quarry is now running at full pace as you can see and uh, damn, um, is this cyber lab, are the cyber labs starting to kick into full gear now, man? It is totally sweet. What isn't that sweet, however, guys, is that we still haven't really got anything that exciting from our recycling facility. I've moved some of the stuff out of here to make space, but I mean, we haven't really got anything that exciting. No diamonds, no really rare loots, no iridium or anything like that yet. But hopefully, hopefully our recycling facility will start producing some um, excellent quality goods now that, it, that the quarry is capable of running 24 hours a day. Um, and that is awesome. So um, this is our new Magma Crucible array. I gotta say guys, it looks absolutely badass, man. Look how industrial it looks. I just absolutely love the look of it. I love seeing the lava come out of the, uh, the Magma Crucibles and make their way down the pipes. I've spent uh, probably an inordinate, inordinate amount of time just staring at the lava coming out of these crucibles and traveling down the pipes and trying to go into the engines and then um, skimming off a bit from the top of it. It's kind of like, this is kind of, we're, we're kind of like honeybees right now, man. Um, just generating an excess amount of honey and uh, just using that honey to fill up our tanks. And as you can see, guys, the tanks actually fill up pretty quickly. And uh, of course, once these front two tanks are f filled up, the back two tanks will start filling up. But you guys will soon see that um, um, as soon as the MFEs are drained, we'll just come down we'll just turn on the squidwards and get them all charged up again and we're basically running um, a, a sustainable energy grid right now and you know but as soon as we start plugging in the industrial blast furnace or say we make electrical furnaces for the furnace room then we're really going to start um, chewing through power but as you can see all we're doing now is chewing through one mfe at a time and it does drain pretty quickly it's about what 10,000 eus a second it looks like it uh which is <laughs> which is quite a lot i think but um, that's all good for now, guys. So, whew, man, I'm so glad that we got eventually got that system to work. And I really feel like the Cyber Labs has come a long way now. We've got six MFEs that, are, that we can almost charge up to full. We've got a, 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 a decent supply of lava from our magmatic engines and magma crucible setup. But guys, we need to make some freaking jetpack action, man. And I'll tell you why we need to make jetpack action. Number one, jetpacks are freaking sweet. <laughs> And uh, number two, we need to go do some exploring. We need to go do some jetpack fueled mining so that um, not, not only can we sort of explore the giant ravines and float around them, you know, much more easily. Um, we're also going to be able to harvest all of the, the excess um, minerals and excess ores that we can see on the walls of the quarry because obviously it's going to be really difficult to get to those ores manually. And with a jetpack, it's much easier to mine the quarry. Um, we're also going to be working in the quarry today, um, adding a few buckets of water to the corners of the quarry so that we can fill the bottom of the quarry with water and thus stop spawning of uh, mobs at the, uh, in the quarry. And that was an idea given to me by one of you guys. So thank you so much for that awesome ass idea. 
But guys, let's have a look at the electric jet pack. As you can see, what we need is an advanced circuit, a bat box, some refined iron, and some glowstone dust. I mean, what a really simple recipe. Um, what we got to start with, though, is the RE batteries, and um, let's see if we can remember how to make those. I think, I think what we have to start with all the way at the beginning, though, is some copper cables, um, because we need to make some normal circuits. We need to make a whole bunch of of things using these copper circuits so let's make a couple of these um, copper cables next up what we are going to be making is the re battery and i do believe they look a little something like that there we go and i think we need three of those right so we'll make three of those next up we need some electrical circuits and uh electrical circuits if my memory serves me correctly need some refined iron in the middle and some glowstone on the side that gives us our electrical circuit most excellent and then we are making an advanced electrical circuit and oh how does this how does this look it's it's like this isn't it glowstone lapis and redstone there we go advanced electrical circuit nice let's have a look at the jetpack next up we need to make a bat box uh, that, this is where we need our batteries so we've got our wooden planks in the bottom we've got our re batteries here we've got the copper cable there and what else was there and more wood over there so there is our bat box excellent now all we need to do is put it together so bat box in the middle advanced circuit in the top um refined iron is it yeah it's refined iron um just like this and then i like how the glowstone is like the flames coming out of the the jetpack boosters that's really sweet so there we go guys jetpack in the belly oh my goodness that is so awesome so i do believe we equipped the jetpack just like this and look at that guys we've got a jetpack on our back and it's strapped to our chest also i mean if that is not awesome i do not know what is but what we can see here guys is this is that this electric jetpack is has naught out of 30,000 EUs available so we actually need to charge this bad boy and I do believe that we can charge an electric jet jetpack in an MFE there we go we're just going to put the jetpack into that slot and we can see the MFE is is uh, powering up this jetpack and while that happens guys what I wanted to do was quickly uh, put together a set of tools man we need to make some more um, ruby tools I want to make another ruby pickaxe but what I also want to do is make a ruby sword um, because if we're going to go exploring in the in the quarry now, you know, I want to be able to defend myself with a nice ruby sword. Plus, a ruby sword looks badass, man. Check it out. Um, <laughs> man, that is awesome. And I want to get my armor on. Well, we can't put the chest plate on, um, unfortunately, because uh, we've got to put our, our jet pack on. But I've got, some gear, I've got some army gear on now, so that is sweet. And now what we can do is um, get our electric jet pack and get that sucker on and now I do believe it works I'm not sure exactly how it works. Let's try double jump Yes, there we go. Look at this. We're flying. We're flying people. Oh man, that is awesome And that doesn't seem to drain a lot of power. That was about 500 EU's for a, a, a couple seconds of flight um, But that is oh my goodness that was so epic and I do but I think there is a hover mode and stuff also um, uh, H Okay, guys, I just had a quick check in the controls, and it looks like um, this jetpack has a hover mode, and I've set the hotkey to G, so we can uh, we can enable the hover mode, which is sweet. I don't know what hover mode does, but it sounds awesome. Now, guys, what we need to do is get our asses into the quarry, and what I would like to do now is... Um, oh, my goodness, it is scary as hell up in here, man. I want to go to the corners of the quarry and basically empty a bucket of water into the corners of the quarry that means that the entire bottom of the quarry is going to be covered in water now there's two reasons that we're doing this number one to to stop mob spawns in the quarry um because obviously you know this is a huge space a huge area that is spawning a lot of mobs and number two if the quarry comes across any lava um, the water is going to, to, to put that quarry, it's going to put the lava out and it's going to turn it into obsidian. And the reason that we need to do that is because um, the quarry can't actually mine through blocks of lava. So it's important that any lava that the quarry laser comes across is turned into obsidian. So I don't even know if this is working or not, but it, I mean, there's a lot of water flowing from that corner. And I think that I think that's because the quarry dug underneath an ocean or something. Um, but... I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, why this isn't flowing more. Um, maybe what we need to do is make the water come out of like a hole. So let's, oh God. 
Oh man. I don't know if that was the jetpack or water. <laughs> right, let's let's try this, right? If we make the, the water come out of like a, a chute, is that going to make it flow more? It, that does not look like it. And if we make the water cascade over um, some dirt or something? Hmm... Well, that didn't, that, this isn't quite working the way that I wanted to, but um, there's got to be a way to make this work, right? So check it out, guys. I'm in hover mode now, right? Because um, I've enabled hover mode. So if I hold down spacebar, it makes me fly a little bit. And, um, oh man, this is sweet. Check it out. So what I want to do is like try and make like a, I don't know, like a cascade or something. Oh my goodness, we're getting shot at from somewhere. From this skelep, skeleper. Take it. All right, sweet. So, guys, what we can do now is actually start work on harvesting the walls of this quarry, which is sweet. Um, okay, hover mode disabled. <laughs> yeah, hover mode is pretty hectic. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to practice a little bit more with um, <laughs> with this. Uh, th this jetpack, and also obviously, if you if you fall, you take damage. So that's a, that's obviously really dumb to fall. And I guess hover mode uh, lets you not fall, right? So look at that. Why is that water f um, taken so? Why has it gone so far? And and my little squirts of water over there aren't working. So I'm going to enable hover mode when I want to travel over a distance, and that obviously seems to work pretty well. Let's have a look at the source, actually, and have a look. Why? I mean, this looks like it's only one source over here, but it looks like the water is just going absolutely crazy, man. Look at this this massive wave of water, basically, that this this uh, <laughs> that has come out of that hole, man. That is awesome. But, um, oh, man, this is so sweet. Jetpack for the win. Um, it's actually kind of hard to mine with the jetpack because... Um, it, it kind of it acts like you're swimming, so you break through blocks much slower than uh, than you would um, if you were if you were stationary. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I've just had an idea, guys. Why don't we try? Oh, I shouldn't have broken that that source of water. But why don't we try and flow the water down from the top, right? So why don't we flow it down from over here, for example? Ooh, there's there's actually what the hell? <laughs> Man, these dudes are just having a swim. There's actually like a little a little lake up here that's directly uh, above the quarry. So this might have actually done the trick. Um, well, it doesn't... That's the thing. It doesn't really flow that far, does it? Unfortunately. Okay, well, let's try on this side, shall we? Let's, let's dig a little hole in the roof here and uh, place a water source with our buckets. Oh, there's actually... What the heck? There's another lake over here. My goodness, man. What is up with these lakes? Why, why are they so infested? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I can't believe we just busted into two lakes um, in the quarry. Man, that was crazy. So that water's flowing down there, but that doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. Um, and this source of water over here isn't really doing anything at all either. Um, hmm... Well, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get more water flowing in this quarry, but um, I think what I'm probably going to do is just add some more, you know, water sources like this into the roof and just hope for the best. Wow, that's going to actually land on that Enderman's head. Blam! <laughs> Took him out. Um, and I guess, I don't know, let's see what happens once the quarry takes away another level of dirt. Maybe that's going to spread the water out more. I'm not actually entirely sure. But uh, man, if you guys know what you know anything about how to make water work in a quarry, do let me know in the comment section below, man. I would love to get the the, t the surface of our quarry completely covered in water without having to manually put you know tons and tons of water sources pouring from the roof. Um, but anyway, <laughs> okay, awesome. We've got a jetpack. Let's see how much fuel we consumed there. So we consumed about half of the jetpack's fuel there just from floating around. Um, and that's, I mean, that's that's not too bad, right? And we can just, when we don't need the jetpack, we can just come and refuel it just like that. Um, so that is sweet. But what I do want to check is how much energy we have consumed now that the uh, quarry's been running for about, I don't know, it's about 20 minutes now. Let's have a look at our MFEs. Um, 
All right, so it looks like we're onto this MFE now. It looks like we've used up one MFE completely. Um, our jet, man, these jetpacks refuel really fast. That is awesome. Um, and let's have a look how our quarry is going, man. Yeah, things are still sucking through nice and fast. Um, and let's have a look at our chest. Anything exciting in here? Nope, nothing yet. But um, as you guys can see, I can literally just leave this quarry to run now, which is awesome. What I do want to do is go outside and have, do a little bit of a fly around. Um, let's disable hover mode. And <laughs> look at this, people. This is awesome. We are flying way above Rentown, man. Check at that. That is so sweet. Nice. Oh, my goodness. This is just so epic. Um, loving the jetpack. Thank you to, the, to you Cyberdogs who told me about the jetpack, man. This is just like the best thing ever. Um, oh my god, this is so awesome. It's a, it just it it makes you so like imbalanced, I guess. You know, it's 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 like you're in creative mode or something, just uh, flying around like a crazy person. But um, let's get our asses into the into this giant ravine over here because this is going to make um, mining and stuff much easier too, which is sweet. And what's awesome is that we can just jump down and just before we hit the bottom, we don't. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god damn it. Well, it was bound to happen at some point. <laughs> and there is the beacon indicating where I freaking died like a noob. Oh my bad. My bad people. Oh god. I just, I, I literally uh, just heard about 12,000 face palms um, happen at exactly the same time. My flat kind of shook. It's like a seismic wave across the planet is 10,000. Uh, cyber dogs face palmed at the same time man. Oh god. That was absolutely retarded um, Well, I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I'm still trying to learn how to use the jetpack. Okay? I, I'm not entirely sure how a jetpack works. Okay, so um, forgive me for being a freaking noob <laughs> um, What the hell where did I get this all from? All oh, right, that was from the quarry. Um, oh my goodness my bad. Okay, so there we go guys um, Not too much harm done um, other than losing about 36 levels, so that kind of sucks, but uh, we weren't even using those levels for anything really, so, um, you know, all good. But um, this just shows you guys how awesome the jetpack is because we are now in this giant ravine and it's just so much easier to do um, some caving, to do some, you know, some mining, collecting of some sweet ass jazz, so, oh man, this is going to be epic. I'm going to spend the next, I don't know, 20 minutes or so just mining out this giant ravine. Um, and uh, man, I cannot wait to see you guys in the next freaking video. And uh, man, I'm oh God, I can't believe I just died, man. I'm, I'm actually gonna face palm myself. Get, get, give me one second. I, I'm gonna face palm myself. Ow. <laughs> anyway, guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Feed the Beast. We now have a jetpack. Look how sweet this is. Oh my goodness, guys. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button to show me the love. And if you haven't subscribed yet, man, why don't you hit that subscribe button? There is way more Minecraft Feed the Beast as well as Let's Play Minecraft Vanilla. Let's Play Starcraft 2 Heart of the Swarm as well as many other amazing games coming out on the Rendog channel this year. So why don't you hit that subscribe button to keep yourself updated guys thank you so much for watching this video and i cannot wait to see you in the next one where we will hopefully not be dying <laughs> this is Rendog signing off guys we'll see you in the next video goodbye my friends